Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on water management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here's my main method. I am creating an object of water class. This is a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, click on Swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the .java file for the code, this one and .form file to create a interface. Okay, this is my interface. Uh, this is my panel. I have named my panel as water panel, provided the margins in all four sides and uh, this is the heading j label these are the j labels this is the button j label button okay and uh, this is my table uh, this, this table is added under the scroll pane and uh, you can add the you uh, the listeners for these buttons okay let's now understand the code this is the class these files will uh, these uh, fields will be generated automatically once you design the panel and then uh, i'm creating an object of jframe class this is my constructor these are these are the code which uh, you will require to display the panel whenever you create the object of water class and then this is the method which i am using to display the data into the j table Okay, this is the listener of add button. So uh, what I'm doing here is uh, checking if all the fields are null or not. These fields, if they're null or not. If they're null, then provide a message to the user with uh, please fill all the fields to add record. Else if it's not null, then I'm uh, getting this query. This is my query. I am using prepared statement. So uh, this kind of syntax is required. Then I'm building the connection, passing my URL, the name of the database, the username and the password. And then finally, uh, inputting my query into the prepare statement method. Okay, and uh, I'm calculating the price of the uh, water by getting the uh, number of liters and then uh, getting the number of uh, the quantity of the water and then multiplying it by 10 okay uh, okay and this set string is uh, required to input the string value if uh, the data field is set of type string and if the it is integer so i'm using the set in method okay uh, in the first column which will be my name in the data uh, in the database so i'm in, uh, getting the value from the text field and I am storing it in the first index which is name and for location uh, I am also taking my data from the text field and storing it in the second column okay similarly liters and quantity and price are calculated and then uh, uh, input to the column okay each column respectively and then finally using this method so that it data gets updated in the database and popping the message item get it uh, successfully and then setting the fields to null catching the exception if there is any and popping the message accordingly uh, which is stored in the ex variable and uh, uh, this is the method to display the data so uh, we'll get updated data after adding the uh, data okay similarly this is the uh, update button listener so this is the query for it okay building the connection using prepare statement to execute the query and uh, finally uh, this uh, method execute update button will update the data into the database and uh, this uh, will pop the message updated successfully catch the error if there is any and uh, display the data again into the table okay the i am uh, setting the location the number of liters quantity price you can choose whatever you want to update 
okay and then uh, this is the listener mouse listener i am uh, just getting the data of name and location stored in the table and uh, using this get value at method from the variable dm which is of type default table model getting the model first okay and storing in this variable and getting the selected row it will be of type integer so storing it accordingly and uh, then i am passing the selected row and the column number column starts from the index 0 so this is uh, i'm passing it from 0 0 with index uh, my name is stored so i'm passing 0 over here and at the first index my location data is stored okay this is the table data method i am uh, just uh, running this query select all from this is my table name building the connection similarly and uh, using the uh, result set to store the result of the query okay and then setting the model i am using this method which i have created on my own but it is similar to dbutils dot uh, result set to table model use that method instead uh, and uh, pass your result set over here and then catch the exception if there is any okay we are done with the program let's now run it okay i have already added one uh, field over here so let's add another Okay, 20 liters and the quantity is 2 so uh, 40 liters and each liter is of 10 rupees so 400 is the price okay and clicking it clicking on the table uh, fills the data okay it's working okay we can also update it uh, for example we want to require uh, we require 30 liters okay okay uh, it works okay this is it and uh, thanks for watching i hope you understood the working of the code subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas